Okay, this is a, a, a tutorial on the user functions uh, within EZC, which is excellent for uh, speeding up your, your programming uh, phase. Now, initially you have to set them all up, but once they're set up, you just drag them in whenever you need them. So in this particular situation here, I, I, let's pull up uh, forward. It's already pulled up actually. Forward is the subroutine here that sets motor port 2 to 127 positive, motor port three to 127 negative, and that drives the machine forward. Um, we can go into the backwards. I've, I've set it up already that I can have a stop, I can have a turn left, and I can have a turn right. There's many of them I can do. The nice thing about doing it this way is it makes your actual program much smaller and much easier to troubleshoot. So instead of having, you know, I'd have 30 or 40 statements down here or lines, I only have the, a few. So I have my stop, my subroutine for stop in there, I have my subroutine for backward, turn left, and wait. Actually, the wait's not a subroutine, but it makes it much easier, much cleaner. Now, you can create an actual file with all of the user uh, user functions, or what I, I refer to as subroutines, and you can save it somewhere with for one particular robot, and then whenever you need to you pull up those subroutines in a new program, you just go like this, right click, actually, um, you go project, uh, add existing function and then what you do is you reach out to another uh, program and pull it in which is quite easy it'll show you here how to do that it'll search for that or you can go um, user functions you can just add a new function so I can have a new function that says uh, you know whatever the case may be I don't know drive fast and uh, then I could I could uh, always have to do an underscore I always forget that but you always have to have an underscore uh, and then you can go ahead and you can and you can put all your variables in here. You know, you can go back to the uh, outputs. You can drag some motors in there and so on. And then that's saved as a subroutine, which is a nice little way of doing it. Makes it quicker. Um, so any changes you want to make are are much faster. And also too, if you change the drive forward, if something changes, you can just go back to the subroutine, ch change it in the subroutine, and it it will in turn re rectify your entire program. But if you had it done. Uh, all motors all the way down through here without doing it in subroutines you'd have to go back and reconfigure every single one of those motors that you use if you happen to need another port or something some sort of so that's it uh, again mr burley at saint elizabeth catholic high school